If the lightning connector on your iPhone 5C is broken, you've come to the right place, because today I'm gonna show you how to replace the lightning connector in your iPhone 5C. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and for this repair you're going to need an ice clack, plastic opening tools, a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips triple zero screwdriver, a Phillips double zero screwdriver, tweezers, a spudger, a pentalobe screwdriver, a semi jack tool, and scissors. I already have the majority of the tools I need in my ProTec toolkit, so I'm ready to get started. When you do your repair, make sure you follow the step-by-step -step guide on ifixit.com. Not only does it walk you through the complete repair, but you can also see comments and notes from other users who have followed it, which is extremely helpful. First things first, I'm going to make sure that my phone is completely powered off. And once I've confirmed that, I'm gonna get started opening my phone by removing the two screws down by the lightning connector. With those screws out, I'm ready to open up my phone. To do that, I'm gonna use this tool called the ice clack. If you don't have an ice clack, you can use a combination of a small suction cup and a spudger or an opening tool to pry the phone open. Using the ice clack is super simple. Just position the suction cups right over the home button and open the handles. Once the suction cup is fully engaged, just press the handles together and you'll have an open phone. Now that we have the phone open, we can move on. The battery connector is located right below the battery connector bracket, which is held in place by two Phillips screws. To disconnect the battery, we're going to use the flat end of our spudger to lift the cable out of its socket. Make sure you're prying the cable connector itself and not the actual socket. The display assembly is still connected to the logic board. To get it completely off, we're going to need to disconnect all the cables, but before we get to those, we have to remove the cable bracket, which is held in place by four Phillips screws. Make sure you use an organizational tool for keeping track of your screws. They are incredibly small and can vanish easily. I'm using one of our magnetic mats, which holds the screws in place, and I can also make notes and keep track of where the screws come from. And there are all those cables. To disconnect them, I'm gonna use the flat end of my spudger. Next up, we'll get to work on removing the SIM card. Removing the SIM card is as simple as inserting a SIM eject tool into the SIM card tray. The first step to removing the battery is removing the adhesive strips that hold it in place. The adhesive strip has a tab that can be lifted up by using the pointy end of your spudger. Once you've got it fully out, cut the black tab right between the white adhesive strips and carefully pull the innermost tab straight up, making sure to keep it flat and not twisted. Now that the adhesive strips have been removed, you can lift the battery right out of the phone. To remove the lightning connector, we're first gonna remove the speaker assembly. Let's start by peeling the home button spring contact cable up from the speaker enclosure.
Now we can remove the speaker. To do that, we just need to remove three Phillips screws and then use the flat end of our spudger to pry the speaker out of the rear case. With the speaker out, we can move on to taking the lightning connector from the phone. First, we need to disconnect the ribbon cable from the logic board, and then we can work on removing the last four screws holding it in place. And don't forget to disconnect the Wi-Fi antenna connector from the base of the logic board. With those out, we can use the flat end of our spudger to work the lightning connector data cable from the rear case. Once you've released the cable, keep working your way around the assembly until it's no longer adhered to the rear case, and then you can simply pull it out of the phone. For reassembly, we recommend you follow the step-by-step -step guide on ifixit.com in reverse. And if you're in the mood to see a reassembly on video, check out the iPhone 5C reassembly video on our channel. You can find all the parts and tools you need for this and many other repairs at ifixit.com and let us know how it goes. You can find me on Twitter at Gwendolyn Gay and follow ifixit at ifixit. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. And you can give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.